We should point out, though, that there is one place that is completely resistant to any downturn. If you look at demand for new and used autos, that's not showing any signs of slowing down. And that means that profits are rolling in for the auto dealers. Philip O joins us right now with more. Phil, what happens if you want to walk in and, and try and get a new car these days? Well, we've talked about this, Becky. There really is very little supply that is uh, on the lot, available right now. Almost everything that is sold has been pre-ordered or a dealer has said, look, I've got this used model. You come in now, whether you're a couple of states away or wherever, we'll get it to you. And that's resulting in incredible profits for the dealers. Take a look at this data that we just received in from Kerrigan Advisors. They put out a quarterly look at uh, what we have uh, with all dealerships when it comes to annual profits as well as dealerships bought and sold. And the annual profit in the first half of this year, it was up to $4.2 million on an annual basis. So what you're looking at is just a few years ago, it was $1.5 million for an annual profit. This year, dealerships are on traffic. Each dealership site, not the chains, each dealership site is on check for a profit of $4.2 million, according to Kerrigan Advisors. Look, they've got a few things working in their favor. Demand continues to outpace supply. That means record used auto prices. And remember, they make their money on the service side. So the EV threat, remember, that was going to kill dealerships? Um, no, that didn't happen. Remember, Internet sales? Nobody would go to a dealership. Sorry, that's not happening either. As a result, take a look at shares of the Internet-based auto retailers. In the last year, these guys have just been hammered, whether it's Carvana, Car Gurus, Vroom, Car Lots, they're all under pressure. By comparison, take a look at the established dealership chains, and we're talking about those that are the brick and mortar, in addition to doing Internet sales as well, whether it's AutoNation, Group One, which, by the way, Earl Hesterberg, longtime CEO, they just announced he's going to be stepping down uh, come January 1st. Uh, even Penske Auto Group, almost across the board, all of these are close to their 52-week uh, highs because people continue to look at them and they say the service model is not going away, and that's where they make their money, and they've got all of these other factors going in their favor. So strong business right now for uh, auto dealers across the country. Hey, Phil, when you walk in and you try and trade in your old vehicle, are you getting the premium on that, just yep. like you're going to be paying a premium? Well, you're getting a premium. I mean, it's the old thing. It's, it's like buying and selling a house. Sure, mm -hmm. you're selling your house at a premium, and you're saying, wow, look at all the money I've made. I've gotten this ride on the equity train. Uh, yeah, i got to turn around. i got to put it into another house, and here's how much it's going to cost. So it's a similar thing uh, with used autos. Yes, you are getting a great deal on some of these. Man, look, there are people who are selling their used autos for more than they bought them a few years ago. But they're turning mm -hmm. around, and they're putting it in, in, into either a new or used car that is at a record price.